Well, hello everyone. My name is Raboy and welcome back to yet another awesome video. Before we start, I want to tell everyone who have been having trouble with link for ties, there is a tutorial on how to pass through all the tasks to access the download link for my add-ons, I'll leave the tutorial link in the description below, so make sure to check that out, and if you want to use link for ties as well. You can use my affiliate link down below to start monetizing your links and earn money, the link is also in the description. So with all that being said, let's get right into today's video. So this video is about another update for my artillery craft add-on, which includes awesome changes and bug fixes for the necessary conveniences and ease of life. The update also includes a new artillery gun, we'll get to that later on. So the first change in this update is I've renamed the ammunition for the basilisk cannon from artillery shell, to small artillery shell to give way for the ammo for the new artillery gun. Since the basilisk cannon is a small artillery gun, this new addition is a medium-sized one. So it all makes sense now. The basilisk cannon has also been buffed, it has now 100 hit points so it can take a little bit more damage before getting destroyed, and it will now take damage, but from explosions only, its hitbox has also been adjusted. So the next tweak is for the Typhon Heavy Cannon, which currently the undefeated champion currently in this add-on, sheesh. I still admire its really huge size, lol. It has also been buffed, giving it 200 hit points so it can take even more damage, so it will be hard to destroy this cannon, this makes sense because this cannon is made from netherite instead of iron. And from the previous version, all cannons don't take any damage at all, and the only way to remove them is to use the kill command, but with this update, they can now take damage. And take note that they can only take damage from explosions, like from the TNT or other custom blocks or projectiles that explode, basically, anything that explodes can damage them lol, you can also remove them without explosives by using a new item which we'll talk about later on. The hitbox of the Typhon Heavy Cannon has also been tweaked for a more accurate interaction with it. And for the artillery shells, I also changed their maximum stack size from 64 to 16, because they are made of metal and they obviously would be really heavy, especially the heavy artillery shell, the name already speaks for itself, lol. Their cooldown component has also been removed for a more convenient gameplay, like for example if you're reloading multiple guns of the same type. Now for the new useful item, I added a new item called the artillery gun remover, and its purpose is to, well, remove artillery guns lol, you can craft this item using this recipe right here. And you can use this to remove any artillery gun by sneaking and right-clicking on the gun for PC users, and sneaking then tapping the pickup button for mobile players, it's that easy to use. This way, you won't need to blow it up to pick it up while damaging the landscape in the process, also, you won't get the item at all when it is destroyed. The next change in this update is artillery guns will now drop themselves when picked up, but not when destroyed, because well, it has already been destroyed lol. I also arranged all the items in this add-on in the creative inventory to the equipment category so you won't have a hard time finding them. I also added a new command to get all the items to your inventory in one go, all you need to do is type, function get underscore all, and it will give you all the items in this add-on straight to your inventory, including a flint and steel to fire the cannons. Now for our new artillery gun, behold. The Alaster Siege Cannon, this medium-sized gun has 150 hit points, a 12-second reload time, and an 8-second firing time, you can craft this gun by using recipe, and it will give one Alaster Siege Cannon. The new ammunition has also been added for the gun to use, Instead of naming it Medium Artillery Shell, I named it Artillery Shell instead. Mainly because it is already considered a medium-sized artillery shell, and it will be the ammunition that most guns in this add-on will use. A new projectile has also been added for the Alaster Siege Cannon, which has a range of up to 10 chunks, and an explosive power of 10. Because of this, I'll give it a rating of 10 out of 10, lol, just kidding guys. Other miscellaneous update in this add-on, 
is I've updated the pack icon for this add-on. And take note that there are currently three known issues in this add-on. The first one is the artillery shells are not rotating correctly towards the target. The second is artillery shells are launching on an incorrect angle. And lastly, artillery shells are not launching from the barrel of the artillery guns. So, I'm sorry about that guys, but I'll make sure it will get fixed once I've figured it out, like the sheep with new animations from the previous video, and if you wanna watch it, I'll also leave the link for it in the description, it's currently the most popular add-on I made this year. Well anyway guys, that will be it for today's video, thank you for making it here and I hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications by clicking on the bell icon if you liked the video, because there are tons and tons of well-designed add-ons coming soon. I'll see you all on the next video everyone, and as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace.